so much for coming and Greg, thank you for the introduction. So one thing that I've noticed is that Kiwis, when we create something, we don't tend to shout from the rooftops. You know, we kind of keep it under wraps and we don't share it very often. I'm going to share something with you tonight though. So I've got a wee video of where we kind of got our idea from and it kind of just sums up how we feel about this. Never yeah, stops either. That's why I can't go back. I'm not going to be part of the machine. Hornfillers. Hornfillers? Yes. <laughs> Anything you want to do in life, you've got to fill out a form. You've got forms for everything. You fill it out, it goes upstairs, and then they make you fill out a new form just to confirm that you filled out the first form. <laughs> yeah, if you want to stop filling out forms, well, there's about five different forms for that. <laughs> but if you get me started on the National Rugby team, they're not human. <laughs> so I think Reese Darby sums it up pretty well there when he's talking about forms. I mean, how many of you, if you think about it, the last how, when was the last time you filled out a form when you had to you had it sent to you, you had to print it, you had to sign it, you had to scan it, and then you had to send it back. You know, it's 2017 and we can do better. So I'm going to give you a demo now, and I have shortened it as much as I can and sped it up. So I'm not going to keep you here for hours. Um, let's take a look at this. My timing might be a little bit out, guys, with the um, with this happening. So it might just be a bit of a screen for a little bit. We can just wait. It's a good screen. Yeah, it's a good screen. <laughs> That's right. It's a nice um, <laughs> Come in. Here we go. Okay, so easy peasy forms can be accessed from anywhere that you can access the internet. There's a free plan, so you can sign up for free, and it is iPad, iPhone, Samsung, Galaxy S, tablet friendly. So you can create forms on the go, you can complete forms on the go, it's all ready for you. So I've created a bunch of folders here already. Folders are what we keep our forms in, so you can have a number of folders where you keep your forms. Um, there are folder settings, which we're just going through now. There are also notifications, so you get an email, and you can also see notifications when a form is completed. We also have account settings. So I'm going to go through now, and we'll look at our fresh folder. I'll show you a form that I've already created. Um, NZCS, we use Easy Peasy Forms for our HR pack. So we use it for our leave forms, we also use it for our expense claims. Um, anything else you can possibly think of, um, stock inventory, we use it for that as well. So that was our, that was our leave form. Another one is a demonstration of a Chamber of Commerce membership form. So this is based on the Chamber of Commerce membership form that they have online currently, and this is just you know an alternative option with a really cool signature feature. Sign up tonight, yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> And we also have an external link, so this also shows what other things you can do in the form. So you can add videos, you can add, um, that's an Instagram feed or a Facebook feed in your form as well. So heaps of really cool things that you can do in a form. It's not just like a, a paper form. You've got um, other stuff that you can add. Cool, so that's what they look like. Now I want to show you really quickly what, um, how easy it is to create them and how fast it is. This is sped up. So a lot of the time I spend more time on designing and getting it just right. So we, we'll create a new folder. I'll call it Wonganui Chamber of Commerce. And I'm going to create a blank form. We do have a bunch of templates that are preloaded already that you can um, choose from. We're still building those up at the moment. So I want to go ahead and create a feedback form. It's an event feedback form. So this is a survey because I want to know what you guys thought of our event. Um, so I've got here just, this is a one question survey at the moment for this field. And we just add our answers in here as well. So you can choose, the fields are as easy as dragging and dropping. So when you're creating on your iPad, you can just simply drag and drop the fields over. On your PC, drag and drop the fields over and create your form. You can also add images to your survey, which makes it more fun for the person filling it out. Because, um, you know, we all love forms. So um, I'll just add a few more questions in here. Another really um, good thing that I like to use is a page break. When uh, You guys, you probably wouldn't know this, but actually statistics prove that when you've got a form and there's like heaps of fields on it, people just don't want to fill it out. 
you know, you'll send it to them, it could be a server, and they're like, oh, no thanks, too much work. But if you've got a page break, they're more inclined to click next and follow on. All right, so let's have a look at it. Oh, we're not ready yet. Hang on, we're gonna add some design features. This is the best bit. So let's add a logo. It's a good logo. Mm -hmm. Is your and photo on there? Yes, actually, yeah. And then it's as easy as just, hey, hey. just adding a photo to the back, and we'll play with the transparency, which makes that see for a second, see for which is really cool. Cool. So that's it. Easy as like that was sped up, obviously, but it, it just shows how speedy and easy it is to create a form. Okay, so um, we are going really quick through this, but I'm sure you guys are all getting it. Um, the next thing we need to look at is what happens when people fill out our forms. You know, like we've sent them the form, we can send it via email from Easy Peasy Forms, um, a face, we can share it on Facebook, Twitter, there's a QR code you can scan to fill it out, you can copy the link, make a button, send it however you want, but what happens when people fill it out? Where does that information go? So that actually stays in Easy Peasy Forms, in your account. So I have created, I have prepared this a little earlier, we have 10 responses just here. So if we click on that, it brings up our response page. So now you can see the number of responses that I have, the questions that I've asked are across the top. We can toggle the view to see each form with the information that we have collected. Um, we can create pivot tables and export to CSV. We can click on each of these and there's a pie graph which gives us a little bit of information at a glance of how people felt about our event. We can see that most people, most people <laughs> um, another, I think I'm just going to go through these and show you. So, um, another really cool feature is exporting to Excel is great, but also to you can filter like you would in an Excel spreadsheet with easy peasy forms. So, I'm going to filter the very dissatisfied and dissatisfied people, and I can see based on one of my questions that one of them has been to a chamber event before and the other has not. And because I collected the information, which was optional, their name and email, I can see who those people were, and I can just you know, hit them up and see what we can do better next time. Um, another really cool thing with collecting the name and email, for somebody wanna get that? <laughs> That's okay. Um, another really cool thing with collecting the um, name and email from the people who complete your forms is that Easy Peasy Forms integrates with MailChimp, and I'm sure most of you would know that MailChimp is a newsletter mail generator, so it's actually keeping that name and email and making your mailing list a lot bigger, especially for the chamber, We can get more members, and it's easy as. So I know I went through this really quickly, but I hope you guys all kind of got the gist of it. It's really cool and it's something we're really proud of, so thank you so much. Do you have, what drives me nuts, say I want to complain in New Zealand because they're useless, yeah. so you fill in one of those forms, uh -huh. do you have an easy button that you can save it to my to my computer or save it to my document? So you can keep it as Yeah, well. because mm -hmm. most of them you can't, and yeah. so you don't actually know no, what you said. So when you fill out an easy peasy form, there is an op the, the person who's creating the form has the option to um, say, right. email me a copy, so yes. when you filled it out, you can, they can get the copy, you yep. can get the copy as well. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I love these questions. Revision area mm -hmm. where we have to fill a lot of forms. Yeah. PDF. Yep. Can we import PDF into the system? Into the and, system. And then a fill it up. Development no, not query. currently, no. Not currently. No, you can't import a PDF, but what you could do is take the information out of the PDF and create your own form. Yeah. yeah. So if it was, yeah, that would be great. And actually what would be even better is to get the immigration department to start using easy peasy yeah. forms. So give them a call. Yeah. They can come for a demo. These yeah. guys will go to Wellington. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, so if, if you are interested, I'm happy to go through it a little slow with you. This was meant to be 15 minutes, I just shortened it down. I didn't want to keep you here all night, so. Oh.